The news has come out that he's going to be cast uh, halfway through the, the season. Yes, uh, and it, it will be missed, obviously. But mostly, I feel like I'm coming in halfway through the season, and you're, what's up, dude? It's like you leave right when I get there. That's not cool. You can't have too many ball people. Well, that's the time, brother. <laughs> I heard you come in, and I got kid in this. That's not cool. That's not true. That's not, not true. Yeah. <laughs> But, but can, you know, obviously this, this, this will be kind of a bittersweet time for you, but it must, can you talk about, uh, reflect about uh, your experience on the show? Yeah, um, I, I, you know, I've been here since day one, and I can honestly say that I've never done a series before where this many people get along this well for, for this long. And it's really a lot tougher for me than I thought it was going to be because I love these people. I love them. I truly, truly love them. They're my family. And, um... I'm just really proud of what we were able to accomplish in the last five years. Um, I didn't grow up able to see a superhero who looked like me. At all. These guys took a chance on somebody who does not look like Jimmy Olsen and made me him, and then made me a superhero, and then, love you, and then we, we actually dealt with racism and put it in the context of bullying, and I, I get people that come up to me today with their kids and say, that episode changed our perspective of how we deal with people bullying my son. And I, I, this is the most important job of my life so far, so I just want to say thank To the show, um, and he, I think, is he's. He, it's so exciting that we get to redefine who these characters are, and Macaw just kind of exploded every boundary around who this character was, and brought such strength and grace to it. We're so proud to have had him on the show. Thank you. 